Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode here. In today's episode, I'm going to actually go over my uh, everyday carry, or I'm going to start or assemble my everyday carry uh, IFAC. And uh, this is it right here. This is what I'm actually reviewing, and I will assemble uh, the necessary uh, trauma kit and try to put it into this. And I'm going to try to be... Um, minimal but effective as much as possible and uh, if you're wondering what this is I want to hold it like this but it actually it's supposed to be like like this but anyways I got this from um, AR AR 500 um, I recently have purchased some body armor and waiting for that and when it comes I'll be doing a video on that so please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell uh, like this video share this video all that good stuff so today I will be taking this IFAC pouch very small IFAC pouch if you compare it to this you can see it's very small very thin and um, the reason I got this is to carry with me every day. I don't want an ankle IFAC um, because when it gets to summer, it's kind of weird wearing like an ankle IFAC when you're wearing shorts and sandals and everything. But I think I can get away with wearing this every day. And I'm going to put it together and try to show you or explain how I can do that um, and probably something you can do too just a very simple small trauma kit and uh, I'll try to explain best the reasons why I have some of the uh, first aid kit with me so but uh, again got this from AR500 if you've seen the video on this I've got this off of Amazon there will be a link on this uh, most of this I got from Amazon there was a there was a, an option to buy some of the uh, first aid kits from AR500 but I, I think you can do better as far as price wise and cost and some customizability if you just go ahead and just buy your own products all right and so uh, let me see. First of all, let's see. I like to start off with uh, what this cost or what it cost me. I ended up paying uh, under $20. I had a discount code. It was during December. If you use Christ as King, 25% off site-wide with free shipping. That was, that was the nice part about it. And so... Um, you could order all these things and get free shipping and 25% off. I found that was better than some of the promotional items they had. Um, it worked out price-wise. It worked out better for some reason. So um, that's what I use. So not too bad. Uh, you get this in this package, and I guess AR500 is still a small company. They're using Uline. For all their packages and also um, it comes in this bag if you're wondering and then also it came it came with uh, this malice clip so on the back side you just weave it through here just weave it through here like so and you can attach it to your plate carrier or any other Molly webbing that you have. Um, I'm not going to use this like that. Uh, what I like about it is that it pat they they put a little um, they designed it where you could put a belt through it, and that's how I'm going to use it. And it actually it's supposed to it's supposed to be like this. So it's holding up. It's it's designed to be carried like this, not not like that. So, anyways, uh, also in the package 
has some information here, return policy. Although when I spoke to the salesperson, um, they said anything promotional or anything that I use a discount code um, was uh, non-returnable. But that's all right. I'm, I'm happy with the purchase. In the back, if you do read this, they do talk about their body armor as being bullet resistant. <laughs> bullet resistant, not bullet proof. So I guess they're just covering their their liabilities here. But uh, yeah, you you may uh, <laughs> you may encounter a situation where even the bullet armor, ballistic armor is not 100% guaranteed. So anyways, uh, so the reason why I got this small IFAC pouch is because so I can carry it, carry this every day. And uh, what I liked about it was because it has this loop here where you could put your belt. And um, I will show you after I assemble my kit here how I'm going to wear it every day. All right, so let's, uh, first of all, it goes like this. All right, it goes like this. And then the idea is that you, you, you're you wearing it. It's on the small of the back pouch. That's what it's called. And that you can pull it. It comes with two patches, one for this, which is a, this is a, a hook patch. This is a, loop patch I think it's kind of nice that you can do that and then there's another one right here but essentially that's how it's it's designed so you pull it out this way all right and this is just the pouch that stays on your belt or on what your small your back or on your plate carrier and uh, I already got something in here already uh, but this is it. This is this is all it is. So I have to be very minimalistic. So I got some items here. I'm going to try to use it. I'm going to take some items out of this IPAC. Not IFAC. IPAC. IFAC. It's a little bit larger IFAC. And uh, use it in here. So what do I have in here so far? I have... And this is... I'm designing this around trauma specifically bullet trauma right uh, so I did get some uh, chest seals here there's two so I kind of modeled it after what AR500 would have sold as a, a refill kit so I'm going to definitely put that in here that's going to be my my base here there we go. So that's definitely going to go in. Um, so I'm going to open some of these things up here. I got this today. So quick clot. It's not very large. I might get more or less. It depends. Again, I'm being very minimalistic here. So it's just two feet. Not, not that big. Not that big. But uh, again, um, just something to clot the blood so stop the bleeding um, probably not going to put any like nasal or airway kind of stuff first aid kit because uh, this is this is designed for me okay <laughs> this is designed for me so if I'm not breathing that probably means I'm unconscious I'm not able to breathe for whatever reason so uh, there's no good no point in having one in here get those nasal airways because I'm not going to be conscious I probably I'm not going to be conscious to use it on myself um, I could use it possibly for someone else that that is an option um, but mainly this this particular this particular IFAC is is for me so some some clotting quick clot just a small one uh, let's see what's in here um, this is another kit I got I'm gonna have to open it I, I I don't think I can fit this big thing in in here it's just it's just not gonna 
it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. Um, it's just not going to work. It's just too, well, no, 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 not going to, just not going to work. So I have to take this apart. I'm going to have to take this apart and uh, uh, take out what I need. So let's, let's go ahead. And then again, I got this off Amazon. I'll put some links down in the notes section below if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Let's see how easy it would be or hard it would be to open this. Well, it's not that hard. It's actually pretty easy. Okay. So well, let's, let's, let's just pull it all out. Let's see what I can, I can really use out of this here. Just very inexpensive. Try to build a kit for myself. Uh, one of those space blankets, rescue blankets. This seems a little bit thicker. Tourniquet. I think this is supposed to be a cat tourniquet. I got an orange. Trying to be very minimalistic with it. I'm not trying to go overboard. This is really thick, really big. A carbon pencil, I think. What comes in this thing? A tourniquet. Some shears. Okay, some shears. Maybe I can put in here somewhere. Bandage. It's kind of like a real Israeli bandage. A little too big, a little bulky. Um, I may not be able to use this, but that's why I got these. These are supposedly H&H uh, &H compressed sterile gauze, and uh, I could use them as bandage and as a way to pack wounds, pack a wound, pack an opening, a gash. So um, I think I'm going to go with these here instead of this because it's just it's just too bulky. I need to be very minimal. Um, as far as a tourniquet, that oh man, that's kind of bulky as well. I could try to fit a tourniquet in here. Comp compressed gauze. Uh, I think I can get away with with these so I'm gonna just forgo that it's just I just bought the kit I can replace some of it with what I have in here definitely want a tourniquet definitely want a gauze of some kind it's getting fat oh man it's getting fat let's see how I'm gonna do this okay this is becoming challenging now Okay, there's one. Yeah, this is uh, harder than it looks. I think this is the best I can do with it. <laughs> I think I can make it work. It's going in. Oh, it is going in. Oh, okay, it's going to work. I think this is about the minimal I can get with this. I don't know if I can get away with getting any smaller. I might have to play with it a little bit more, but I think that's about all I can do. If I'm bleeding that bad, I'll just use the tourniquet to get the gauze. If I'm not bleeding that bad, I'll use the uh, gauze and the blood clot. If I happen to be shot anywhere above my waist and then torso, I can use a chest seal. And of course the space blanket might keep me warm enough. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is all I, this is all I can do. All right. So there's my IFAC. Ugh. That's going to be it right there. All right, so didn't have to pull anything out of here, which is great because I could add some more stuff onto this here. I could add more stuff here, here. I got some more things. I got an extra scissor. Okay, put that in there. Don't need these malice clips. All right. Now that we got, now we got that done, that was the fun part. Um, this is probably the most minimalist 
IFAC I can do right here. Um, I may rearrange it, but I think that's probably the best I can do. Okay, that's probably it. That's probably the best I can do right here. The most minimalist I can do, just, just the bare essentials for emergency trauma. All right, so from this point on, I'm going to use my fanny pack. So this is what I carry every day with me. And of course, um, Harbor Freight pepper spray. I know it doesn't do much. Uh, it's just for like wild animals and some annoying kids, you know, just to get them away. My keys and then of course cards and money and whatever. But as you all know, what's in here is my my everyday carry, right? My everyday carry. I don't chamber around. There's no, there's nothing, um, there's no holster. So that's why I don't chamber around. And uh, it's just a lot easier to carry. Oh, I do carry a knife as well. So how am I going to carry it? And I also carry it on my, on my left side, by the way. I'm not left-handed, but I carry it on my left side. So here's the buckle, right? I get this at Walmart, Outdoor Products. I take this every every day because I don't wear a belt anymore. The pants I wear, I don't wear jeans. Uh, oh, this is hard. Now you're probably wondering, man, if I wear this, Everyone knows I got a first aid kit. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to take this patch off and uh, let's put it right up here. Let's put it on this one. I'm going to take that patch and I'm actually going to get a Nike patch and Velcro it on here. And so this fanny pack essentially now looks like, well, a fanny pack. Um, I'm off and I'll put a little Nike, little Nike, there we go. So I'm going to put a little Nike uh, patch right on here. And when people see it, if they see it, they think it's a, a, a sports apparel. It's very common to, uh, for people to think this is a sports apparel. Uh, and I, I wear a lot of sports apparel. I, I don't wear a belt. I don't wear jeans. Um, I wear like Under Armour style kind of clothing. And so in the summer, it gets extremely, extremely hot. And so this is what I'm going to probably end up doing. This is how I'm going to carry this every day. Do I think I'll ever need it? I hope not. But the fact is you may need it if you are carrying a gun. And if you ever get into an encounter, even in a, in a knife encounter, you may need something like this, especially the, the tourniquet at least. The tourniquet, um, you know, should stop uh, the bleeding on your arms and legs. If you're going to wear body armor, you're not really worried about getting hit in your upper torso, upper to torso as much, okay? Um, one of the, uh, actually two of the soft body armor I carry are have a chain mail in them. So they're also designed for uh, slashing and then bladed weapons. But uh, essentially this is for like bleeding my arms, my legs, if I get into any type of encounter. Anyways, I'm going to conclude this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.